Hi YouTube, um, <coughs> Daniel says he's going to leave yet again. I was really starting to get peed off with him there. I keep saying he's going to leave all the time. Basically what happened last night was... Uh, um, <coughs> I'm having to give up Midnight Blue because he's peeing everywhere again. He's peeing on the stairs and everything. Um, so I'm starting Midnight Blue, which I don't really want to do, but I've got to really, because... Yeah. Um, and... And Daniel was saying, Daniel was having a go at me last night, saying, oh, me and Chase is going to be meowing outside the bedroom door all night now when I, when I stay here. And I says... And I says to him, well, don't stay then if you don't want to. And he starts getting all moody and funny and that, and then... I don't know, I'm just fed up with it now, I really am. Um, I can't help it if me and Chase is going to meow. And she's not anyway, because my friend Lee's going to be staying downstairs. So she's going to be downstairs with him, so I don't know why he's going... I don't know why he's making a big issue of it. I even says on the video, I even says, it's not all about you, you know. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, so I don't know why people need to be such drama queens all the time. <laughs> but I will keep praying for him. Um, I'll keep praying for him. But I don't like how he speaks to me, and you know, he just sometimes speaks to me like shit, like. We're not like shit, but I'm a very sensitive person, and I'll get, I don't know, I'm just very, I'll get, I'll get very stressed if someone talks down to me like that, and, um, I says, what did you expect me to say to him? I says, what, what did you expect me to say then? And he says, don't say nothing, and I thought, well, why should I say nothing? I thought, I thought, why should... I thought, why should I say nothing for when it's my home? Why shouldn't why, why should I be able to talk? You know, because it's because it's not on his tablet. That's the problem. Because they've reduced his dose. Um, they reduced his dose down to twenty milligrams. He was on forty milligrams of citrofam. Now he's on twenty because it's enlarged his heart or something. And 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 I have been worrying about him a lot actually, but. Just seems like he's not bothered about me really. I mean, I've been really stressed over Midnight Blue and different things, and having to give him up, and just, and just feel very disappointed and hurt that Daniel's not there for me really. Um, that's how I feel. And if he wants to take off again like he did last time, then that's up to him. I mean, I can't stop him, but I am getting really fed up of it because he's done this. This is this will be the. He's done this a few times now. Mm. Seems to be a habit when when people. It seems to be a habit when you when you quite. I wouldn't say I'm a pushover, but when you quite a a laid back. <clears throat> okay, I probably am a bit of a pushover, but when you. Okay, let's be honest. When you're a bit of a pushover, people just tend to come in and out of your life, and that just upsets me. Because I'm not looking for that kind of relationship. I'm looking for a committed, lifelong relationship. Um, <sighs> yeah, with someone stable, someone with stable mental health, someone with sound mental health, someone that's not up and down all the time. I mean, he was happy and and jolly, and then he suddenly, and then he suddenly, and then he suddenly, in the morning, he was really happy and jolly. And then he suddenly dipped and went, got all funny like that. And I even says to him, I said, what am I expected to say about me and Chase the meowing outside or not? And he says, don't say nothing. And I was thinking for a few minutes, I was thinking, why should I not say nothing when it's my own home? Why should I not, why should I not disagree with him or talk about it when it's my own home? Do you know what I mean? It's my own home, I should... I should be able to say what I'm thinking. I should be able to say what I'm feeling. It's my own home. If he can't accept that, then this isn't the place for him because in a home, you should both be able to speak your mind. Um, 
thing. I told you my wife there when you come to the door. <laughs> I was in. A, I was angry to be honest. So I just said it how I said it. I said I'll. I said I'll fuck off. <laughs> um, because. Because he hung the phone up on me when I was trying to talk to him. <sighs> so. And now he's messaged Lee saying he's not even messaged me. Well. I blocked him because he pissed me off, so that's probably why he's messaged Lee. But he's messaged Lee saying he's going to pack all his stuff and he's going to go back to London. Well, that's up to him, isn't it? What, what's he? I'm fed up of, I'm fed up of getting upset over men that just want to walk in and out of my life all the time. I'm not going to. I've done all the tears that I need to do. There's no more tears left. There's no more tears left. If that's what he wants to do, then that's what he wants to do, isn't it? <sighs> I've got a lady come, two ladies coming soon for Midnight Blue. I don't know whether they're looking at him or whether they're buying him, I'm not sure. But I've got all his paperwork together and putting a folder for them. Um, yeah, so. I mean, I'm di very disappointed that Daniel's like this, but you can't really change people, can you? You can try to help people. I've told him I'll come to doctors with him, I've told him I'll come to the hospital with him. But he doesn't want it. Um, he doesn't seem to. He doesn't seem to be interested in me helping him. Um, you know, I was even thinking about giving him some money from the. This woman's giving me some money for the cats, and I was thinking about giving him some money, even though he owes me about sixty pounds. I was thinking about giving him some money. Um, but I'm thinking to myself, why should I? If he's just going to keep wandering in and out of my life. Do you know what I mean? If he can't be there for me, then why should I? Because I was thinking about giving him fifty pounds. Um, but then I thought, well, hang on a minute. He owes me sixty pounds. So why should I give him another fifty pounds on top of that? <sighs> I do feel sad. That's why I'm doing this video because I do do YouTube videos. Not just when I'm happy, but when I'm feeling down and depressed as well. I mean, I didn't sleep all night thinking about it, thinking what what was he, what was he expecting me to say to me and Chase and me? I was all night outside the bedroom. I was thinking afterwards, after he got on, that we could just let her in the bedroom, or or, Lee, or my friend Lee could stay downstairs with her. So the simple solutions to the to the problem. It doesn't it doesn't need to be for him to have a go at me about it. It doesn't need to, for him to make a big drama out of him, say he's going back to London, this, that and the other. He said this at least three times before, and I've never cheated on him, I've never seen anyone else, I've never messed... And I just feel like he's just using me when he when he treats me like that. That's how it feels to me, it feels like he's using me when he when he treats me like that, when he, he says, oh, I'm coming, or I'm going, or... It just feels like he's... It just feels like he's just... Messing me around, to be honest, because you know. Admittedly, I am very sensitive when someone when someone when someone raises their voice to me. I do get defensive, which most people do, and I do get upset and hurt by that. And I was thinking about it all night. What am I supposed to, What am I supposed to do when when me and Chase is meowing? All night, um, because the other night when I brought when we brought Moon, Moon Chaser back, um, and brought her back before midnight blue, she was meowing outside bedroom door all night. I didn't hear her because I had earplugs in, um, because um, because Daniel snoring's loud, so I wear earplugs. I must think a lot of him because I've never done that for anyone else. When I was with someone else called Chris Blythe in Birmingham, um, I never, he used to snore really loud, and I just, after a few months, I ended it with him. Whereas with Daniel, I obviously think a lot about Daniel because I wear earplugs, and I'm not saying something because I don't do that for anyone else. You know, I just feel like he just betrayed me, kind of thing. I know that's a strong word, but <clears throat> I 
I've always talked to you. No problems with my exes. I mean, even when they cheated on me, I used to try and talk. I used to try and talk it through. But as I'm getting older, I'm thinking, is it worth it? Because the more I take people back, the more they kind of mess you around. The more, I mean, he hasn't cheated on me. I'm not saying he's cheated on me, but he keeps saying he's going to leave and stuff like that, which is as, almost as good as cheating on me, because it makes me feel like he doesn't want, he doesn't want to be here, like he doesn't want me. So. So yeah, so that's how I feel. <sighs> yeah, um, I was meant to be cooking. Me and Daniel was meant to be cooking Lee's dinner today, but I don't know what's happening with that now. <clears throat> I don't know. Just winds me up how he talks to me a lot of the time. It feels like he can say whatever he wants to me, but I can't say what I want to him because I'm worried about him leaving. That's how it feels. And then it, I bottle things up then and get depressed and upset which isn't good in a relationship and it just makes me feel like just makes me feel like I'm bottling things up all the time yeah so it's a shame that it's a shame that he just wants to take off like this but if that's what he wants to do then that's what he wants to do I can't stop him can I so I know I try and put a brave face on it, but I do feel really hurt and upset by him. Um, because I've never actually done that. I've never said when I've lived with someone, I've stayed with someone. I've never, I've never said over and over again, "Oh, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave." Um, as I say, the person I was seeing in Birmingham, I was with him for six months. Chris's name was, and. And I almost moved in with him. I used to stay with him a few days a week. Um, and even him, I didn't I didn't just say, oh, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave. He, he, was, he was a bit nasty to me, and I said, it's not work. He was like, shouting at me, and I said, it's not working out, and just ended it. But with Daniel, it feels the same. It feels like unless he can stop having a go at me about little things, then it's not going to work out. And then he and then he says to, and then if I try and defend myself, he says, "Oh, I'm I'm off, I'm going." But it should be a two-way thing. We should both be able to say what we're thinking. He should be able to say he says what he's thinking. But if I say what I'm thinking, then I'm the big bad wolf. Well, we should bet we should both be able to say what we're thinking. And I think the, a lot of the reason why I lose my temper with him is because I bottle things up, because I try not to say what I'm thinking for the fear that he's going to walk out on me. And then I bottle things up and end up having to go at him. And then he says, oh, I'm going back to London. But you can't be nice all the time when, you, when, you, when, you're, in a, when you're in a relationship. You can't... Uh, I mean, maybe if you saw the other person like just once a week, but I see Daniel nearly every day. If you see someone nearly every day, then how can you how can you always be nice? You can't always be nice, can you? Sometimes sometimes everyone loses their temper no matter how much they meditate, no matter how much they chant, no matter how much they pray for other people. Sometimes people do occasionally lose their temper and do occasionally get annoyed. <sighs> I try really hard not to get annoyed. It does sometimes happen. And all that's the lady that's coming for me. The cat. I do try not to get annoyed sometimes. I better go because I think the lady is here. Maybe not. Sure. Yeah, maybe not. That might be her. Okay, people are. Oh, YouTube, you another time. Blessings, 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 blessings. And I hope Daniel finds peace, love and happiness in his life. God bless, God bless, God bless.